Hi again everybody. Mr Thurston and I have been thinking about some frequently asked questions that you might ask so we thought we'd have a little chat about them. So the first thing I'm going to ask is, Mr Thurston, what happens if you get lost? Uh, first of all, don't panic. Look, I've been here for over 20 years and I still get lost. So that's the first thing really. Um, we do give you a map when you first arrive and that's in your plan but we'll give you another one. There will be some step up buddies who will help you find your way around the place. You've just got to ask people really. Um, we also, we expect you when you first arrive to, to get lost, might be a little bit late as well. So really, I, I wouldn't worry about it that much. I think by the end of two weeks, most year sevens are experts actually at finding their way around the building. Absolutely. Mr Thurston and I have been here for a very, very long time. And we know when people are telling us that they've got lost and they haven't. Everybody knows that you're going to get lost to start with, so don't worry about that at all. So, Ms. Ms. Richardson, um, you've been organising a lot of the, the groups for Year 7, so, um, so one of the big questions is, will I be with my friends? Okay, so this is often something that really bothers people, and we do do our best to put you with someone that your primary school teachers have said you work really well with. Now, that could be a friend, or it could just be somebody who's a good support person for you, or whatever. But I would imagine that in your tutor group, there will be somebody, at least one person, that you think, I really get along well with them, that will be fine and you will feel fine. But really, it doesn't matter. You're going to make lots of new friends. Sometimes the people that you think are your friends are not the people that you're going to work best with and maybe your primary school teachers knew best. I think also it's important to remember, isn't it, when you're at primary school, you don't sit with your friends in certain lessons, you might have different tables, different classrooms, so you're used to that already. But also, we've got lots of children coming this year who are the only person from their primary school. Yeah. So they're going to be sat there on their own going, I don't know anybody. Yeah. And what would be really nice, what we expect really about other students is to go, I'll tell you what, come around with us. We can all get lost together yeah, and absolutely. have a great time. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the thing is, is that I know when I first went to secondary school, by the end of the first term, most of my friends were from different primary schools anyway. And you're not going to be sitting with your friends in your class because all of your teachers are going to have seating plans anyway. Yeah. So what about lessons then? How, how long is each lesson? How many, do we, how many do we have? Lessons are an hour long and there are five a day. On some days, it's likely that they're all going to be different. So you might have maths, geography, history, science and drama. Then on another day, it might be that there is a little bit of repetition. So you might have, say, maths twice on a day. But usually you have five lessons and they're an hour long. One of the big things that worries people when they're coming uh, coming up to secondary school is, will they be able to go to the toilet during lessons, Mr Thurston? So this is a bit like primary school at the moment, um, where you're encouraged to go before lessons start, break time, lunch time, um, and so on. And that's what we, we're, we're exactly the same. But we do understand that there are times when you just really need to go to the loo. And you, know, you put your hand up and you ask the teacher, and you know, yeah, of course you can go to the toilet, but try and, organise yourself to make sure you've, you've gone beforehand, if that makes sense. Absolutely. So in the real world, you wouldn't expect a teacher to just get up and go to the loo in the middle of the lesson, but sometimes they might be desperate, you know, you just don't know. But we would expect you to try to manage things better, but we would never be, if you were desperate, we're not going to make you not go to the toilet. However, it is important that you don't kind of start to play on that. So I would know if someone came into my classroom, can I go to the toilet? I'm really desperate. Yes, but remember, you need to make sure you've got break or lunch next time. Next lesson, I'm really desperate. Can I go to the toilet? I'm going to be saying no, aren't I? Because obviously they're not managing themselves very well. Yeah. So um, there's a lot of talk about lanyards and cards. So what is a lanyard? What's a card? Mr. Richardson? OK, so this is your lanyard and this is really important because this hold your card and your card is a really really important part of your school uniform it tells us who you are it tells us that you're part of our community it has the information that you need to get things out the library it has things that you need to get your printing done and most importantly it's got your money on there to buy your lunch i think the other thing is is the colors isn't it so staff all wear blue yeah um and then each year group has its own colour. So next year, year seven, they're going to be silver grey, and that will stay with them all the way through to year 11. And then that changes when we get to the sixth form. Absolutely. Um, but it's, it's, it is, as Miss Richard said, it is so important that people do wear those so we know that they are part of this community. 
Yeah. Oh. Yep. Well, come. Well, lastly, we just thought we'd talk a little to bit to you about lunch and food. Oh, my favourite. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> First of all, how do you pay for food and what's the food like here, Mr. Thurston? So, we pay for food on our cards and you can put money on your card either in school or parents or somebody at home can put money on through Parent Pay. And we'll send more information out about that later. We'll probably do a little video actually about how to put money on your card if you need to. Yeah, we like um, you making videos. I'm loving making these videos <laughs> at the moment, I tell you. Um, what's the food like? Oh, unfortunately, the food is a bit too good. <laughs> um, yeah. So, one of the big differences between primary and secondary school food is, is the range and the choice. So, um, you can have sandwiches and salads and fruit. You also have opportunities to buy in burgers. And then we have what I call proper food, so meats and vegetables and curries and pasta dishes. So, there's a wide range. And whether you're a meat eater, a vegetarian, a vegan, there's something for everybody. And I think one of the things that our students always talk about when they say one of the best things about the food uh, so about the school is they say it's the food yeah it's a real shame that you guys are missing transition this year because that's one of the big things that always comes back is people say the food's really good the food's great so something to look forward to there okay hopefully that's been useful for you and uh, we'll speak to you soon take care bye, bye, -bye. Hi Year 6, Mrs Rose here, Head of PE at CLCC. Just wanted to give you a quick overview of what we do in PE in Year 7. So you'll come down in your tutor groups and you'll have PE in your tutor group if you come down just as you're on your own in your tutor group or if you come down with another tutor group you will then obviously split, be split into boys and girls. From September to Christmas we will, you will cover uh, football, netball, gymnastics, and fitness. After Christmas in PE you will do some badminton, some minor games which include dodgeball, bench ball, crazy catch, ultimate frisbee, a bit of handball. Um, as well as this boys you will do some rugby, girls you will do some dance and there might be a little bit of trampolining in there too. After Easter you will do some athletics, some rounders, some cricket, some tennis and some bucket ball. Obviously that is just what we do in, in lessons. Extracurricular clubs, we have so many on offer. Every Monday there is a dance club with Miss Mason and Mrs Miles open to both boys and girls. There's football for boys and girls, basketball too for boys and girls. We have recently had a riders coach come in to coach you, um, which is brilliant. After Christmas, we have a rugby club for both boys and girls. We have a badminton club and a trampoline club. After Easter, we then start our athletics. So we have an athletics club, getting ready to compete at Saffron Lane. We have a tennis club that Miss Mason runs. And we do sometimes have a rounders club too, because there is some rounders tournaments as well. Obviously, if you've got any questions, then please email transitions at clcc.college. Have a go at the CLC games that has been um, given to you. Get involved, have fun, because that's what we really want you to do when you come to lessons um, at Counterstop. Make sure that you've got your PE kit sorted. We like you to look really, really smart in PE. And any questions, just let me know. See you soon. Bye. So, uh, this is Mrs. Davidson, she's Head of Hi. Music. Um, so, how long have you been here now? Um, I, I started at Christmas, so uh, I'm relatively new. Um, and uh, so, actually, I'd only been here 10 weeks before the school closed. Oh, gosh. So, are you, are I'm, you... I'm still finding my way around as well. <laughs> I was going to say, you're a bit like me getting lost still. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got a few years on me, Mr. Thurston. Yes, but I still get lost. That's the worrying thing. Um, so, so actually, I might be finding some of you Year 7s to help me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I imagine this uh, a number of Year 7s, a bit like me, playing an instrument. Um, coming from primary school to secondary school, what, what happens? Can I carry on playing? Yeah, of course you can keep playing. I'd love you to keep playing. Uh, we have a number of peripatetic instrumental teachers that come in each week. Uh, some of them are ones that um, have actually 
taught you probably in primary school. So it might be worth talking to your instrumental teacher to see if they they work here as well, because then you can continue your lessons with that teacher. And if my teacher doesn't, do I get a new teacher then? Yes, there we have. I think we have lesson. We have instrumental lessons in almost all of the instruments you could imagine. Not at the moment, kind of sitar or um, dobler or anything like that. But uh, I can explore and I can find yeah. find somebody if you're interested in learning them. And what about um, playing with other people, like ensembles, orchestras, bands, and things like that? What's well, because I'm quite new as well. We haven't actually got a huge amount going on yet. But I'm looking to to start an orchestra in September and then build in other ensembles. Um, depending on kind of what musicians we've got and uh, what time is available. Oh, that's fab. And what about somebody who's never played an instrument but would really like to start playing the trumpet or the violin or, or Again, something? Again, no problem. Um, we have, as I say, we have teachers that come in and uh, as long as they've got space, they're more than happy to have new students start. That's fab. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you.